Hey guys, it's John. This is a Red 2 video. In this video, we're going to be talking about affixes, how to use them, how to get them, and then also just mainly talking about how to make OP armor like this. Okay, first things first, before we get started, you want to be looking for a tower that's like this. Basically a wizard tower. You can usually find these in plains biomes, also mountain biomes. This is usually the best way to get affixes and gear. You basically go into this tower, as you climb up the steps, there will be other little books that you can use for your affixes. I usually just take the gray book, keep going up the tower, you'll see a sword book. This book, you want to get this one too, it's called a Tome of Scrapping. Then when you get up to the top of the tower, there's usually an affix tome inside an item frame, make sure you pick that up. And then there's the chest right here. Make sure before you open up the chest, you break the wood around here because there's always TNT, TNT trap set up, so make sure you get that. Then you can open up the chest. There's usually affix tomes. Sometimes there will be affix gear also, like in this case, there's the sword and then a uh, crossbow. Always take all the affix stuff because even if, even though this sword is gray and it's crappy, it still has 3.38 fire damage, which is actually still pretty good. You can rip off even crappy affixes and they all stack up. So you should always take them even if they're crappy. They'll also usually be enchants. Sometimes you'll get a lot of gear. Sometimes you'll get a lot of uh, affix tomes. Sometimes you get a lot of enchants. It just depends, it's random. Okay, so once you got your affix gear, then when you just come home or wherever your base is, whatever, and the first step you need to do is get the affixes off of the item, okay? So in this case, let's say we were trying to make some armor that was really strong. So we want to get this item here. So we have this iron chest piece. It has plus 22 armor, plus six armor. And then this one over here has plus 0.5 armor toughness. It also has attack damage on it. So basically uh, you would want to decide which one you want to get rid of because in order to take off an affix, like in this case, a gray affix, this is a gray item. You would need another gray item that you would have to shred in the fire in order to get the affix off. So in this case, this one only has point well, 1.22 armor, so we're going to choose this one to get rid of. So you need to just put it over here on the soul campfire. You just put the item in your hand, right click on the soul campfire, and you pretty much just wait until the item cooks. Once the item is done cooking, you'll get this common rarity shard. You have to do this for every type of affix. So like, let's say if it was the green one, you wanted to get a green affix off of these. Well, you'd have to cook a green item to get the rarity shard. And then you combine this rarity shard with a tone of scrapping. So you take the Tome of Scrapping over here to a smithing table and just combine the Tome of Scrapping with the Rarity Shard that you want. So see right here, common Affix Tome. So now we have the Affix Tome. So now to rip the Affix off of this one right here, we just put in the boots. We put in the Affix Tome. This has to be done on the anvil, by the way. And it does cost actually XP. So see here, there's the 0.5 armor toughness. It also says it has uh, 7.5 attack damage. That's the thing when you're dealing with Affixes. It's totally random which Affix you're going to get. So in this case, if you wanted the attack damage, you didn't want the armor toughness. I think it might be possible to do another affix on a separate item and that might reset your chance of getting the damage off of this. I'm not sure. I'm sure there is probably a way to get the attack damage uh, roll off if you wanted to. I'm just not sure how to do it. In this case, for the example, we're just gonna say that you want this armor toughness. So you just go ahead and click here. Mind you, it will shred the item. So it will delete the item. So see here, we got this armor toughness 0.5 on this affix tome. And then now you basically just combine this affix tome with the piece of gear that you want. Okay, so once you finish with that, then just go ahead and get the piece of gear you want to put it on. So in this case, we're putting it on a diamond chest piece. We have the affix tome. Again, it costs uh, it costs experience in order to do this. And now we can see that it's added the 0.5 armor toughness to the item. And there you go. Now you have a piece of diamond armor that has extra 0.5 armor toughness. This will basically allow you to basically shred a bunch of crappy items, maybe that have affixes that you just want the armor toughness. So you could get a bunch of armor that has crappy affixes that, uh, you know, if it only has plus one armor toughness or plus one armor, you could basically rip off all of those off of the gear and then put it on one piece of gear and basically make a super OP piece of armor. Kind of like what I've done over here on my with my netherite chest piece. This allows you to basically create totally broken armor that's even better than the end game armor in Rad 2. Um, this is something I hope the devs change, but they haven't changed this yet. I really think they need to just take out affix tomes, disable them. But in the meantime, as long as it's still in the game, uh, you should definitely do this because you can make totally broken armor uh, that's better than the end game armor and a lot easier to actually get the armor itself. So that's pretty much it, guys, for the guide. Just one last tip. Uh, try and look at the buffs, the actual affixes that are on the weapons. So like this one, for example, this diamond pickaxe, this would be a good tool to actually shred in the soul campfire. 
because the only affix that's actually on this diamond pick is that it has a higher enchantability, which is worthless. Who cares about that? Whereas these ones are crappy. They're grays, but look at this one has three cold damage. This one has three fire damage. Look at this one has sniper damage, although it also has the enchantability. So ones like this, although they're gray, it still will be worth to rip off the cold damage and put it on your main weapon. So always be looking at the affixes. Make sure you're getting rid of affixes, uh, cooking gear that has really crappy affixes that you wouldn't even want to get off anyways. And then lastly, just make sure you use all these tomes. You will get a lot of these tomes from the wizard towers. One last tip for the wizard towers. You'll see some right here, some right here. They're usually plains biomes. You can also find them in mountain biomes. I think I said at the beginning. Uh, and then also some of the forest biomes. I mean, sometimes you get lucky, you'll find lots of wizard towers close by. Other times, like down here, for example, I was flying around for almost an hour and I barely found one right here and then one over here. So sometimes you get really lucky and you'll find a lot in close proximity, like these three are pretty close by. And other times, you know, you'll be flying around forever and you don't find anything. So just keep an eye out. It's definitely worth it to get the wizard towers. And then also one last thing, you can also get the affix items from apotheosis bosses which are the ones sometimes you'll be running around and you'll hear a thunderbolt even when there's no storm going on that means that a mob has been turned into an apotheosis like mini boss you should always try and hunt them down if you find them or if you hear a lightning a random lightning bolt they have a pretty good chance of dropping affix gear so it's definitely worth hunting down apotheosis bosses if you happen to hear a thunderbolt nearby and then also, lastly, you can also find Apotheosis Dungeons underground, usually. Those are the ones that actually have the highest chance of having an Apotheosis boss that has really rare gear. You can actually get really powerful enchants like that from killing Apotheosis bosses from those underground little mini dungeons. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it helped you out. Please, if you have any questions, always feel free. You can ask questions in the comments. I'm always trying to help out people. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.